Hi, so in this video we are going to talk about the subset. So the definition of subset is a set A is called a subset of set B if every element of set A is also a member of set B. So suppose if we have a set A whose elements are 1, 2, 3, 6 and 9 right and if we have a set B whose elements are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. This is a set of first 10 natural numbers right. Then if you see properly all the elements of set A are there in set B. These first three elements are the first three elements of set B. Then we have a 6, 6 is over here, then we have a 9 and 9 is over here. Then this set A is called the subset of set B, right? A is a proper subset of set B because we have few more elements which are there in set B and not there in set A. Right? So that is why this A is called the proper subset of set B. And then if we follow this definition, the set A is called a subset of set B if every element of set A is also a member of set B. Right? So according to this definition, every set, set A is actually a subset of itself. Right? And this is actually written as is a subset or equal to itself. Right? Similarly, set B is also a subset of the set B itself. Right? And both of them are equal. Why they are equal? Their cardinal number is same and they have exactly same elements. Right? So this is how we write when two sets are equal and they are subsets also. Right? So A is a subset of A. It is not a proper subset because all the elements are same right and their cardinal numbers are also same so it is not a proper subset for a set to be a proper subset of some other set like in this case set a is a proper subset of b the cardinal number of a has to be less than the cardinal number of b for a set to be a proper subset of another set the cardinal number of the first set should be less than the cardinal number of the second set right then only you call it as a proper subset right that means you should have at least one extra element in the set b or the second set right so this is the definition of subset and if set a is a subset of set b the cardinal number of a that means n of a has to be less than or equal to the cardinal number of B. The cardinal number of set A cannot be greater than the cardinal number of set B. Right? So these are the few things to remember. And what about null set? The null set or the phi is the subset of all the possible sets. So phi is a subset of set A and phi is also a subset of set B. And now again if we take these two sets as example, we have said that A is a subset of B, but B is not a subset of A, right? Here we have few elements of B which are there in A, but these elements which I have underlined in red, they don't belong to the set A. That means B is not a subset of A in this particular case. So this is what a subset is and in the next video we will be talking about how many subsets can you have for a given set right so keep watching math smart and bye bye till then